The Portrait of Eternity In the heart of an ancient city, shrouded by the whispers of history, there stood an enigmatic gallery, a repository of the world's most beguiling art. It was here, among the labyrinth of cobbled streets, that Jonathan Hales found himself on a damp autumn evening. Jonathan, a connoisseur of the arcane and the mystical, had traversed continents in pursuit of artifacts imbued with inexplicable powers. Yet, nothing could have prepared him for the enigma of the portrait he was about to encounter. The gallery, an edifice of timeless architecture, welcomed Jonathan with a silent reverence, as if acknowledging the gravity of his imminent discovery. As he meandered through the corridors adorned with canvases of forgotten eras, a peculiar artwork ensnared his attention. Encased in an ornate frame of ebony, the portrait depicted a woman of ethereal beauty, her eyes harboring an abyssal depth that seemed to beckon the onlooker into a realm beyond the tangible. The placard beneath the painting bore no name, only a cryptic inscription, the gaze of eternity, behold and be transformed. Mesmerized, Jonathan could not avert his gaze from the portrait. It felt as if the woman's eyes were alive, piercing into his very soul, unearthing desires and fears he had long buried. Compelled by an ineffable urge, he acquired the portrait, oblivious to the consequences this act of possession would unfurl. Back in his study, the painting took its place with solemnity, its presence pervading the room with an air of arcane potency. That night, as Jonathan slept, the portrait unleashed its eldritch power. He dreamt of the woman, who introduced herself as Serafina, a sorceress condemned by a curse to live within the canvas, her soul entwined with the fabric of reality. She revealed that the portrait held the power to alter reality according to the desires of the beholder, but at a price too grievous to fathom. Awakening with a start, Jonathan found his room transformed. Objects of his desire materialized from the ether, while aspects of his reality subtly shifted, aligning with his deepest yearnings. Initially intoxicated by this newfound power, he reveled in the endless possibilities. However, his elation soon gave way to horror as he realized the cost of his wishes. Each alteration to reality eroded his memories, his identity, slowly erasing the essence of who he was. In the twilight of Jonathan's newfound reality, where the canvas of existence was his to command, three distinct wishes were woven into the fabric of his life, each leaving an indelible mark on his soul and the world around him. Once, Jonathan yearned for intellectual supremacy, to be revered as the pinnacle of wisdom and knowledge. The portrait, eager to fulfill this desire, imbued him with insights and intellect far beyond any contemporary or predecessor. Books, languages, and sciences unfolded before him with effortless comprehension. However, this gift came with a grievous cost. As his mind expanded, the connections to those he loved contracted. Conversations with friends turned into monologues, relationships withered under the weight of his unrelatable intellect, and soon, the very people who once provided warmth and companionship regarded him with a mix of awe and alienation. The scholar stood atop his ivory tower, not as a beacon of enlightenment, but as a lighthouse on a deserted island, signaling to an empty sea. Wealth, an echo of every human's whispering desire, found its way into Jonathan's heart. Why yearn for material possessions piece by piece when one could command wealth untold? Gold filled his coffers, riches from distant lands graced his doorstep, and luxuries unknown to most adorned his existence. Yet, the glitter of gold cast long shadows. Jonathan realized that every coin, every artifact of opulence, was a token of his isolation. Friends, or those he thought were friends, drew close with greed in their eyes, their affection as counterfeit as the reality he had constructed. In a palace built of wealth and wishful thinking, Jonathan found himself the sole inhabitant, his true self buried under the avalanche of his own making, where genuine connection and trust became the rarest jewels, forever out of his reach. Haunted by the impermanence of youth and the relentless march of time, Jonathan's final wish was to halt the aging process, to bask eternally in the vigor and appearance of his prime. 
The portrait acquiesced, and Jonathan's reflection ceased to age, his vitality unwavering as the seasons passed. This defiance of nature's law set Jonathan apart from the natural order, watching as the world aged around him. Loved ones grew old, wilted, and passed into memory, while he remained, a constant in an ever-changing tapestry. The immortality he sought became his prison, a relentless cycle of loss and grief as he became a spectator to the fleeting lives of those he dared to care for. The realization that eternity was less a gift and more a curse left him yearning for the natural fate he had so foolishly evaded. In the end, Jonathan stood amidst the ruins of the wishes granted by the portrait, a testament to the folly of altering reality to one's whims. Each modification had promised fulfillment but delivered only a deeper chasm of despair, teaching him that the essence of life, with its trials and triumphs, lay not in the perfection of one's circumstances but in the imperfections that weave the rich tapestry of human experience. Desperate to undo the curse, Jonathan sought to destroy the portrait, only to find it impervious to any physical harm. Serafina's voice, once a whisper of seduction, now thundered with malevolence, revealing the true nature of the curse, with every change wrought upon reality, a piece of the beholder's soul would be consumed, binding them to the portrait for eternity. Realization dawned on Jonathan in a chilling cascade. The gallery, the portrait, Serafina, all were constructs of a reality altered by countless previous owners, each consumed by their desires, their souls entwined in the canvas, contributing to the curse's cyclical torment. In a final act of resolute defiance, a last stand against the consuming darkness that had come to define his existence, Jonathan summoned the remnants of his will, embracing the only form of escape he surmised might stand a chance against the insidious curse. With a heart heavy with despair yet alight with a desperate hope, he directed the unfathomable power of the portrait upon itself, articulating a wish born of a profound yearning for redemption, a reality in which the accursed portrait had never come into existence. It was a wish that defied the very foundation of his current existence, a plea to the cosmos to undo what had been done. As he uttered this final wish, the very air around him seemed to thicken, charged with an ethereal energy that signified the beginning of an unfathomable transformation. The fabric of reality, that delicate tapestry woven from the threads of countless lives and decisions, began to unravel at its seams, pulled apart by the magnitude of Jonathan's desperate desire. The walls of his room, once laden with the trappings of his wishes, dissolved into the ether, and the ground beneath him seemed to give way to an endless void. In this moment, suspended between existence and oblivion, Jonathan felt an indescribable sensation, a pull towards the unknown, a gravitational force drawing him towards a horizon beyond which lay the unfathomable. It was the pull of oblivion, an erasure so complete that it threatened to wipe his very essence from the annals of time, to leave no trace of the man he once was, nor of the wishes that had led him to this precipice of non-existence. As reality continued to disintegrate around him, Jonathan experienced a cascade of fleeting memories, each a ghostly echo of the life he had led, the choices he had made, and the desires that had ultimately led him to this end. These memories, once as solid as the ground beneath his feet, now seemed as insubstantial as the mist, fading into the void that enveloped him. In this twilight of his existence, Jonathan understood the true nature of his wish, not merely the erasure of the portrait but the sacrifice of his own place in the tapestry of reality. With a final, silent farewell to the world he had known, to the dreams he had cherished, and to the nightmares he had endured, Jonathan surrendered to the void. The last vestiges of his reality faded, and with them, Jonathan Hales ceased to be, his story concluding not with a whisper, but with the profound silence of a universe correcting itself. In the space where he once stood, where a cursed portrait once held dominion over the fabric of reality, there was now only the tranquil hush of a world untouched by its malignant influence, a world that would never know the tale of Jonathan and the portrait of eternity. The ancient city awoke to a crisp autumn morning, its streets devoid of the gallery that once harbored the portrait of eternity. 
Yet, in the shadows of forgotten spaces, whispers linger, tales of a cursed artifact capable of altering reality, awaiting its next beholder. Unbeknownst to the world, the cycle prepared to commence anew, the portrait lying in wait, its legend eternal, its hunger insatiable. And so, the story of Jonathan Hales concluded, not with triumph, but with a profound silence, a testament to the peril of desires unbridled and the enigmatic curse of the portrait of eternity. However, the universe, with its inexorable laws and ancient magic, does not yield so easily to the desires of mortals. As the fabric of reality began to quiver under the weight of Jonathan's wish, a cosmic resistance met his efforts. The power of the portrait, rooted in centuries of curses and bound by the sorrows of countless souls, proved too formidable to be undone by a single act of defiance. Instead of dissolving into the void, the portrait pulsed with a malevolent energy, its surface rippling like the surface of a dark, fathomless sea. Jonathan watched, horror-stricken, as the frame of the portrait began to shimmer, its edges blurring and shifting, defying the physical laws of the world. In a whirlwind of shadows and whispers, the portrait vanished from before his eyes, not destroyed but displaced, its curse too potent, too deeply ingrained in the fabric of reality to be extinguished by mere human will. The room around Jonathan, once altered by his deepest desires and now stripped of the portrait's presence, fell into a chilling silence. The weight of his failed attempt bore down on him, a sobering reminder of the portrait's enduring curse and his own powerlessness against the ancient forces at play. Unbeknownst to Jonathan, the portrait reappeared within the shadowed confines of an obscure gallery, located in a distant corner of the world where tales of magic and curses still whispered through the stone of ancient streets. The gallery, a haven for artifacts of enigmatic origin and dubious history, became the new guardian of the portrait, its walls unknowing of the malevolent force they now harbored. As days turned to months, the portrait awaited its next victim, its surface as mesmerizing and haunting as ever. The curse, rejuvenated by its brief confrontation with Jonathan, seemed to hunger for a new soul to ensnare, its power undiminished, its appetite insatiable. And so, the cycle prepared to commence anew, the portrait lying in wait within the dimly lit gallery, its legend continuing to grow. To the unsuspecting eye, it remained a masterpiece of incomparable beauty, its true nature veiled beneath layers of paint and ancient sorcery. Jonathan's story, a testament to the peril of meddling with forces beyond human comprehension, faded into the obscurity of his own erased existence, a cautionary tale lost to the world. Meanwhile, the portrait of eternity, undiminished and ever hungry, lingered in the shadows, a timeless predator in the silent hunt for new souls to claim. Dare to venture into the unknown. Join us on a journey where shadows whisper and secrets lurk. Subscribe now and ring the bell to summon fresh mysteries directly to your screen every few days. Ignore this call, and be warned, an eternal curse awaits those who wander in the dark, unguided. Do you have the courage to face the unknown? Your adventure begins with a click. Welcome to the realm where every notification brings you closer to the abyss. Subscribe, if you dare.